What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing Belly Drum slash slush slush C Titan on the ranked double ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a Kyle Creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds every day to scroll down a little bit and just click that subscribe button. It really does go a long way and helps me grow as a content creator. So again, I thank all of my subscribers. But this team right here, I got from Andy Love VGC. If you guys do not know him, he's another YouTuber who makes Pokemon content. So if you want to check out this team further in depth, or if you want the Pokepace to the squad, link is down in the description below. But yeah, Sea Titan's going to be the first Pokemon that we talk about in today's team preview. And Sea Titan's such a cool ice type Pokemon that was released in Generation 9. It's got Slush Rush to double its speed in snow, alongside with the Citrus Berry as its item. It's got Ice Shard, EQ, Protect, and Belly Drum to max out that attack stat. In our second slot, we got Sinisha, the brand new support Pokemon that has been so solid in Regulation E. It's got Hospitality to heal up allied Pokemon, Rocky Helmet as its item, then we got Rage Powder, Strength Sap, Macha Gacha, and Calm Mind to set up that special attack and special defense boost. Water Urshfu is in our third slot for a nice, lovely physical attacker on the squad. He's got Unseen Fist with the Choice Scarf as its item, and then you got U-Turn, Close Combat, Rock Slide, and Surging Strikes. In our fourth slot, we got Iron Hands. Iron Hands, old reliable and regulation he cannot go wrong with it. You got Cork Drive with the Assault Vest to make it bulkier on that special defensive side. Then you got Fake Out, Thunder Punch, Drain Punch, and Heavy Slam. This slot is going to be a support Pokemon to help see Titan set up that belly jump. We got Clefairy with Friend Guard and the Evil Light. Then you got Follow Me, Helping Hand, Protect, and Heal Pulse. And our final slot is going to be Sea Titan's best friend. It is going to be Alola Nine Tails with that Snow Warning to pop that weather. And then you got the Light Clay as its item. Move set consists of Dazzling Gleam, Aurora Bell, Blizzard, and Ice Wind for a bit of speed control on this team. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Belly Drum C Titan team. First match coming at you guys, we're going up against a Polyrath team. Super cool Pokemon, probably Swift Swim on the Polyrath. So something that we have to watch out for is Rain. And I know Sableye learns Prankster and it has Protect. So, or not Protect, uh, it has Prankster and has Rain Dance. So it can set the Rain, kind of get weather control. So we're going to have to watch out with that, especially with Nine Tails on the field. But this team seems like a pretty great way to set up C-Titan here, right? I think C-Titan is a great lead for us up against this squad. So I'm going to lead C-Titan here, and I think I'm just going to also lead it with Clefairy, try to set it up with a bunch of Follow Me's. It doesn't really look like they have too many double-hitting moves, so going into Clefairy is going to be perfect for us. In the back end, we should probably bring Ninetales, and then probably a big-time attacker with either Iron Hands or Urshifu. And looking at their team, Urshifu really is pretty solid. I mean, uh, except for up against Sinisha, but, I mean, Sea Titan can pretty much deal with that same thing with Nine Tails. So, going in with Choice Scarf or for late game, maybe just Choice in the Surgeon Strikes could really, really be good. It definitely could be good. I'm pretty sure Pyrath wins Water Absorb, too. So, maybe we'll see how that goes. We'll see what move we should Choice into. But I feel as if we could set up Belly Drum here, match number one, we can really just thrive out here and get Sea Titan killing it. So, we'll see who they lead. And it's going to be Clefairy and Pyrath. So, this just, might just be like a bulk up. This might just be a bulk up play. This might just be a bulk up play. And to be honest, I'm definitely going to go Belly Drum. Do I go for Follow Me? Yeah, I mean, Heal Pulse wouldn't really do anything. We're just going to Follow Me. If they want to set up a bulk up, they can set up a bulk up. That's totally fine. We'll start ripping from there. That's totally fine by me. I do have Water Terror type, which is pretty good for us. But, I mean, if I'm using Follow Me, we can just keep ripping into it. But Shiny Sea Titan, its colors are so dope. You got that black in there with a the little white. And I think it has like a little like orange red, yeah, around the eyes. Looks so good. But Polyrath is gonna end up protecting turn one. I don't mind that at all. And my Clefairy is gonna pop follow me. So I wonder what their Clefairy is doing, to be honest with you guys. I am very curious to see what their Clefairy is doing. So we get off that belly drum. We're plus six on attack now. We eat up Citrus Berry. So also going into what's called is really good. Hospitality Sinisha. But it's not that big of it's not that big of a deal that we don't have because we do have Clefairy here, which is great. I can always use Heal Pulse to kind of heal up from there. But I mean, from here, I, I got Ice Shard and EQ. I think I'm just gonna pop an EQ. I got Water Terra, but yeah, I think I still pop an EQ. I could hard swap into Nine Tails, but 
I don't really like that. Actually, we're just gonna go Ice Shard here. I'm just gonna start attacking Clefairy and I'm just gonna go for follow me. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna follow me in shots here. No point. I really don't want to take a fighting move. Really don't want to take that. So Ice Shard's gonna fly out here with Belly Drum plus six, doing half damage to Clefairy. There's a nice lovely drain punch. This is exactly why we popped the follow me. So I think now is actually a good time to maybe just terrestrialize. Because I'm thinking of just. Oh, you just heal pulse my Clefairy. That's lovely. But I think now's a good time to just terrestrialize, right? With this typing. Because I don't want to take a drain point. So I just want to see who they have. You have Corviknight. I think we're fine just going into the terrestrialize EQ. The reason I wanted to rasslize is because I'm going to protect the Clefairy just so I have it for later turns. And I'm to rasslize so the Drain Punch doesn't come into the Sea Titan slot. But they end up withdrawing Clefairy. Go into anybody but Corviknight. Of course it's Corviknight. Like, what? You go into Corviknight here? Corvo comes out here. There's no way they knew I had EQ, but still. I love having Sea Titan here. So we got lovely Sea Titan. We still have Nine Tails in the back, which is going to be great. Um, I could hard swap, or I could just constantly follow me until the fairy dies out, which would be a bad play for me. So I end up protecting Clefairy. With a bit of protect action. He goes for a poison jab. And now this EQ is gonna fly. How much damage are we doing to this? This Polyrath here. I wanna do some big time damage, Polyrath. Beautiful. That's some nice damage. And of course, your Sister's Berry as well. He's starting to make me think that he, he was Belly Drum as well. But from here, I'm just going to pop an Ice Shard. I'm just going to go for Follow Me with Clefairy. And I think I'm just going to follow me until Clefairy dies out. But we know it's paralyzed, so honestly, we're going to lose a turn very, very soon. He ends up protecting the Polyrath, which we love. Which we honestly love. Follow Me comes out here. Beautiful. And Sea Titan is just thriving. You're doing some big time damage on everybody right now. On to everybody. Look at that damage. Beautiful on the corner. Right? Ends up iron offensive up. Um, that's I'm not too worried about that. It's like I said, we have We do have what's called in the back end, which is great. We do have uh I think Ice Charge should actually kill you. But I'm just gonna EQ. Actually he might go for that again. He might go for iron defense again. But we have what's called in the back end. We have Urshfu with Surgeon Strikes, which will just hit through the defensive boost. The poison Jab's gonna come out here. Doing a decent amount of damage to Clefairy. That's no problem. EQ's gonna fly. We're probably gonna KO our Clefairy here. Not even gonna lie, but we get rid of Pyrath at the same time. But it's not too bad. And actually, our Clefairy survives. We like that. So we're gonna get an extra turn with Clefairy. He's gonna end up sacking another Iron Defense. And I think from here, we just keep targeting down this right slot. Whatever they have, right? Kinda hoping they go on the Clefairy at this point. I mean, if you take out my Corviknight, I'm just going to bring out my Surgeon Strikes Pokemon. And start doing the Surgeon Strikes. We also have Nine Tails in the back, and I could swap the Nine Tails over through, but Clefairy's going to come out here. This is where I start for the KO. Maybe just... Do I follow me here? Yeah, I'm going to follow me. Corviknight's going to attack. I'd rather attack Clefairy. And he ends up just protecting his Clefairy. I didn't think his Clefairy was rock and protect. So, I get to follow me off here. Ice Shard's going to do nothing. And is he going plus six on defense to try to make the comeback here? It's definitely possible. It's looking a little scary. So, I'm plus six attack. He's plus six defense. That's kind of funny. And I think from here, we just keep throwing Ice Shards. Corviknight boosting on that defense. No bueno. We definitely don't like that. You definitely don't like that. So I'm going to Ice Shark Clefairy yet again. And yeah, I'm just going to go for another follow me. I'd rather keep my C Titan on the field. Is that this next turn? Oh, of course, Clefairy's paralyzed this turn. That kind of hurts. That kind of hurts because Ice Shark is going to KO you. And now I think he's just going to go for a body press onto my C Titan. Which could be ugly. Could get real ugly. Oh no, you got in Clefairy anyway. So follow me really didn't matter. I'm cool with that. I don't mind that. So now I'm gonna bring out Nine Tails. I'm gonna bring out Nine Tails. I'm gonna try to set up an Aurora Bell here. I'm gonna try to set up an Aurora Bell. I think that's what I play all day. Bring out Nine Tails. We get that Slush Rush cooking now. 
And I think I might set up an Aurora. I'm really depending on what Pokemon they go into. It's gonna be Sinisha. Okay, so they still have Terra here as well. They still have Terra. Machigacha's looking a little scary. But Hospitality's gonna heal back up the Corbin. Alright, Corbin, I see you. I understand. I understand. I mean, I'm just gonna Ice Shard the Sinisha. I'm gonna try to set up this Aurora Bell. I really am. I think it's just a simple play. Get the get get this going for the squad, right? Especially because Ninetales should else be them all. Let's just set up the Roar Bell. And kind of get after next turn. So Sinister's probably going to throw slice, right? This is definitely Sinister. Yeah, and you're going to go into what type of that? Yeah, Fire type. So Surgeon Strikes is a solid move for both these Pokemon. Which I really, really like. I do have EQ as well. So I might just send EQ next turn and try to KO. But I'm going to come out here. Still doing a decent amount of damage. And Roar Bell's going to get set up. We got that lovely Aurora Bell. We got Slush Rush cooking. Both my Pokemon should be faster than them. And he's gonna go for a body press on the Ninetales, which Ninetales soaks. Thank you, Ninetales. Strength Sap gonna come out here. And I mean, you get back some HP, but it's nothing crazy. It is nothing crazy. So I'm really surprised they're just not. I don't have Protect here. I think I still go for an EQ. I don't think Sinus just rocking Protect. Actually, we'll save it for a turn. We will save it. I'm going to actually just go here. Actually, I really want to EQ. I really want to EQ. I'm just going to EQ. I'm going to sacrifice my... What's it called? I'm going to sacrifice my Ninetales here. I'm going to sacrifice my Ninetales here. I don't mind sacrificing my Ninetales. I really don't. Because if I get rid of Sinisha and Ninetales, that's beautiful. Yeah, cool. Sinisha gone. And Ninetales lives on one. We love it. We love it. Ninetales living on one HP. That's actually really massive. Because now if I get off a blizzard, out will be special attacking. And it can do some nice damage to him. Yeah, give me freeze too. No freeze, but body pressure gonna finish us off. And like I said, we have We have Urshifu in the back end, so we're gonna be able to clean this match up pretty handily. Lovely. No terror types for him. They are plus six in defense, which is always scary. But again, Urshifu should should be able to do get some work done here. But big time plays from us. Big time plays from us. Getting C Titan. Belly jumped right off the rip. And once I saw the team that were reversed, I was like, we can just set this up, no problem. And that's exactly what we're doing. So, going in certain strikes to guarantee that critical hit. Hit through all those defense boosts. Ice Shard is really doing nothing. So, we really need certain strikes to actually do. Ooh, that's looking rough because Body Press KOs us. That could be rough. Is Body Press going to KO us? That's the real question. Because Ice Shard isn't. And cool. Aurora Bell helping to soak that up. And that pretty much puts us in a winning position. That pretty much wins it for us. I thought Surge Strikes would do a little bit more than that. But it'd be like that. But I'm just going to do the same thing. Ice Shard into Surge and Strikes. If he protects, which most likely Corviknight doesn't have. I'm still going to be able to hit through it. And that's just going to waste another turn. His best bet would just be to go for a Body Press into my Urge for yet again. And hope that he gets soak up these shots. But I don't think he can. Shiny Shard is going to come out here. Yeah, bring it pretty low in certain strikes. It's definitely going to finish this one off. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Match number one going to her boy. What a solid match. Nice long drawn out battle. And we got to showcase Belly Jump Sea Titan, which was awesome. Second match coming at you guys. And we're looking to pull off that Belly Jump combo yet again. They got Alolan Ninetales just like us, alongside with Bax Caliber. They also got Roaring Moon. They got, what is that Pokemon called? Heatran, they got Sinistra, then they're also rocking out with Urshifu. I really like C Titan here, and I definitely want to try to set it up. So I'm going to go C Titan here, turn one, and I think I just go Clefairy with it, right? Or I could just go Sinistra. Definitely a possibility. Definitely a possibility, but Sinistra is more of a Pokemon that you just bring in, right? So you can get use of its ability. So I'm going to go there. I might actually go Iron Hands instead. Like, who could they lead? I mean, Fake Out would be solid, but I just like having Clefairy just for the follow me support. I'm going to go Clefairy. I'm going to go see Titan here. I'm going to not bring a low in Nine Tails. I don't think we should. I think we should go hyper offensive, more so with Urshfu and Iron Hands. And that's something I really like with the squad. So we're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to look to pull off Belly Drum again here in match number two and grab ourselves another win. But that is pretty much in the name of the game here. We showcased it really well in match number one. But without Belly Drum Seed Titan, this team doesn't really have too much synergy. Your, your object is to just set up the Belly Drum and then kind of have that pose as a threat and then have other Pokemon work around it. So that's what we're going to try to do again. Let's see what they end up leading. They end up leading Heatran alongside Baxter. And this is not a bad lead. I mean, he can go with Heat Wave no problem. 
You can definitely go into Heat Wave, no problem. But I'm just gonna sit here and I'm gonna Terrasize and I'm just gonna pop the Belly Drum, right? It's a pretty simple Belly Drum. And I'll just follow him in case Max Cobble wants to drop a shot. But now it's a perfect turn to actually pop this this Belly Drum here, right? With water. I mean, I love that I can actually EQ potentially next turn, which would be great. The thing is, I didn't bring my Nine Tails for Slush Rush purposes. And that's fine, because I, I was kind of hoping that they would bring Nine Tails. But still, I feel like we can really thrive out with Cloud Me. So I'm going to Tarras last year, turn one, because Heat Wave is definitely uh, an issue here. It will hit, it will bypass Follow Me. It will still hit my Titan. So I'd rather just go in. Yeah, and there's Heat Wave. So Heat Wave actually still doing. Okay, it gets a crit. I was going to say, it's still doing a nice chunk of damage. I'm able to pull off Belly Jump, which is lovely. I'm going to be able to Citrus Berry up here. Um, hmm. Let's see how this one plays, because I would love to just land one EQ. One EQ would be awesome. He's going to end up going for Ice of Crash, because the Fairy soaks it up all day. Lovely. And from here, we're just going to go for EQ. Follow me EQ, or you know what? Helping Hand EQ. No, follow me EQ, because they might just outspeed me. Actually, see, Titan just showed the outspeed. I'm going to follow me just in case. Sea Titan just showed that he outspeeds Max Caliber. But it doesn't outspeed Heatran. So if Heatran wants to go for a different move like Flash Cannon here, yeah. We could, we could uh, take that in. So coming in hot here with EQ, might be able to pick up a double KO, right? Or am I wrong? EQ coming out here. You got a Shuka Berry? Can this still KO? Okay, it does still KO. But it doesn't KO Max Caliber? That really hurts the soul. That really hurts the soul. Because what are you going for here? Glaive Rush? You should take me out? Yeah, you are. That EQ did not take you out. That hurts. That hurts. But hey, I'll still take that value all day. We got off some big time damage. We pretty much KO'd him, but... That's so rough that you ate that up. That is so rough that you ate that up. It's all good, though. I like our back-end Pokemon here. So we get rid of the Heatran. We put Bax Calibur down onto 1 HP. We got a very fast Pokemon here. He's going to end up bringing out Sinistra. So Sinistra comes out here. I really want a choice in the Surgeon Strikes more so than anything. What that ghost type? This is looking real scary, right? So you get some Hospitality HP. I definitely want a choice in the Surgeon Strikes. I got Drain Punch. I got a lot to use here. But Sinistra just counters hard. I might have the choice into something else. I'm going to go for Heavy Slam to you. I might have the choice in a rock slide. I'm not even kidding. Who could your final Pokemon be? Probably Urshifu, right? I don't want a choice in a close combat because then he can just. I got a choice in the rock slide here. I hate to do it, but I have to. Or do I choice in a U turn? No. I have to choice in a rock slide here. I have to choice in a rock slide here. So rock slide can come out here. It's going to finish him off. Sinister is just a problem. Typing wise, it's just such an issue. Trend Sap gonna come out here. Oh, this is gonna get real ugly. It's gonna get real ugly. We're gonna need to some crits, crits and whatnot. Cause this Pokemon is gonna be able to heal up all day. Heavy Slam coming out here. Yeah, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. Maybe I should have brought Nine Tails. Nine Tails actually would have been great, but is, is this Urshville? Oh, it's gonna be Nine Tails. That's not bad. That's not bad because I can heavy slam you. And Rock Slide's still gonna be super effective. So like this was definitely our best choice moves. But we already know what Sinister is gonna do. He's gonna constantly try and slam. Maybe we get some flinches out here. Rock Slide doing some nice damage. We get a flinch on somebody. Was that Nine Tails? It was Nine Tails. Now Macha Gotcha's coming out here. Which is gonna do a chunk of damage in Oh my oh! Yeah, we are not winning this match. We are not winning this mess. <laughs> it's just thriving here. And you get a burn? What you mean? Oh my lord. Look at all the HP he's getting back. Full HP. Yeah, Sinister really just really countered us this match. So Rockside's gonna be able to finish, but again, we're not gonna be able to KO this this thing right here. This Sinister. We're not KOing this Sinister. We just are not. The only way we win this is if we flinch and then flinch again and then maybe flinch again. <laughs> we need like three flinches here. So maybe we can pull one off here. Go to Urshfu with the rock side. Give you a nice little flinch action here. 
Give me a little flinch. Nope. We don't get the flinches. Yeah, this soon is just a huge problem. It's a huge problem. He's back up to full HP already. Wow, a clutch Sinisha. That's awesome. That's good to see, though. Yeah, I'm minus one. I'm burned now. This is just... This is just real ugly. Yeah, we're doing, like, negative five. We are not winning this. Rocky Helmet will eventually just KO us. I'm burned. Just slowly chipping away. Yeah, it's an easy match for them. Definitely an easy, easy match right there. But, hey, we go one and one. We're going to quit this battle. This one actually came down to the wire. This one did come down to why I wasn't really expecting Sinisha to be that strong against my Pokemon, but it just absolutely ripped up into me. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen, one-on-one. -on -one. Let's go hop to a third. Let's try to grab ourselves a winning record in today's video. Final match on its way, and we're going up against a pretty strong team with a lot of different combos, right? They got Torkoal, they got Logan, they got Indeedee, they got Armors, they got Trick Room, they got Ursaluna. A lot of different combos, like I said. And then they also, in their final slot, they got Reggie Draco. So, something I want to bring here is going to be Ninetales. Hands down, definitely want to bring Ninetales because I'm not trying to deal with Torkoal Logan, right? Torkoal Logan is crazy strong. I'm definitely going to go Sea Titan here for the lead. And I think Sea Titan is going to be pretty solid for me to actually bring out here for the lead. And you know what? I'm going to also lead it with Iron Hands instead of Clefairy. So I'm going to go into both of them. I am going to bring Ninetales in the back end. And then last but not least, I am going to go with Urshifu. Yeah, I like Iron Hands better than Clefairy Sea Titan. Because if they do end up leading Logan and Torkoal, I can just fake out the Torkoal. Set up Belly Drum and then Hard Swap and get the Slush Rush boost and kind of get everything. So, something I really, really like about this combo. So, we'll see. We shall see. But I do wonder who they're going to lead. Because like I said in, in the team preview... A lot of these, uh, a lot of this team has a bunch of different combos. Where there's a lot of combos with this team. So they end up leading the combo that I think they're going to lead. And that's actually works pretty good. Because like I said, I can fake out turn one all day. I can fake out turn one all day and set up this belly drum. So I'm going to set up belly drum. And I'm just going to fake you out, right? I'm going to Terrasilize here as well. I'm going to Terrasilize here as well. I don't want Logan dropping a fighting move because it is part fighting. So I'm just going to fake out the Torkoal. I'll change up weather next turn and reset my fake out. I like this a lot. I'm just going to Terrasilize just in case Logan wants to drop a close combat or something into my Sea Titan slot. Yeah, I like that a lot. There's no way it's going There's no way it's going for a grass move that's really on here. No shot it's going for a grass move. I just, I just don't believe it's going for a grass move. So he'll end up Terrasilize in turn one. You go don't wait to Ghost Torkoal. Logan's gonna Terrasilize. It's gonna be Ghost Logan, so that's fine. I'm just faking out the Torkoal anyway. That's cool with me. I'm faking out the Torkoal. So they end up Terrasilizing right off the rip. Thank the Lord we didn't. <laughs> we didn't fake out the Logan. See, like, I don't understand why I would fake out the Logan. Because if anything, they would use after, after you onto the Torkoal. So instead of trying to stop the Logan from using after you, why wouldn't I just stop the Torkoal? But they end up protecting Torkoal at the same time. That's fine. I don't mind that too much. And I should be able to get off Belly Drum here, no problem. So again, I think they're going to go for close combat, which is why I throw slice. We're just going to sleep powder him. Okay. So the thing is here. The thing is, I'm going to drop an EQ, and I might just sit... Uh, Bring in my nine tails just to soak up some damage, right? I want to change up weather. I want to get speed. I know chance are he's probably focus ash, and he could be going for a solar blade. Could definitely be going for a solar blade. But so by changing weather up, that could work really, really good for us. So Iron Hands is slump. I'm really surprised he didn't he didn't sleep the the Sea Titan. That helps me out tremendously. That helps me out. I'm gonna bring out nine tails here. I'm dropping the EQ. <clears throat> so EQ will KO the Torkoal. It should probably bring down Logan to Sash. And I take weather control. I say, hey, yo, this, this weather's mine. I end up withdrawing Torkoal. So they make the read. That's a pretty smart read. And who are you going to go into? Somebody that's going to take big damage. Indeed, he's going to come down. So EQ is still going to do a nice chunk of damage. I like the damage output here. I can't use Ice Shard anymore, which is really rough for me. But EQ is going to come down. 
and Ikki's just doing some massive damage on him. And he's gonna go for a Solar Blade. So there's a the Solar Blade. I think from here we just protect. And... I think I'm just gonna Dazzle and Gleam. He could end up hard swapping back into Torkoal just to stop him with Rail, so I'm just gonna Dazzle and Gleam. Just to look for KO. No, he's gonna go for Helping Hand. That's fine. I think Ninetales outspeeds regardless. I do you think Ninetales will outspeed him? Yep, and that should pick up a double KO. Cool, so double KO comes out here. They're gonna be able to get Weather again, but still, I feel as if I can just spam EQs outspeeding Torkoal already. Should be sitting there pretty funny. It's a big time KOs. I love C Tight. It's like, what is it? Cry? It's 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 scream that it's doing. <laughs> it's just making a funny sound every time I kill something. But now he's gonna come to Oracle. They're gonna set the sun again. And Armor Rouge is coming out here. Okay, I don't have Terra anymore, but I do like our Terra type on C Titan. Um, I do have a really good Pokemon with my. With my what's it called, so that's good. I'm gonna try to icy wind if I can. It might be weak armor, but still. I'm gonna try to pull up the CQ. The Torkoal ends up protecting here. That's totally fine. Don't you dare double protect. That'd be a nice play. No, he doesn't. So if C Titan can land EQ and just get rid of armors, man, that's too perfect for us. We're doing about one damage, and we're gonna lower his speed, which is huge. We get that speed drop, and yeah, this should be pretty much wrapping it up, right? Because Iki's going to finish off armors. They don't have Terra. And now it's just Torkoal on the field. Come on, man. This is way too easy. Belly Drum C Titan. I love it today. I love it today. Almost got ourselves that perfect record. We set it up in all three battles, which was awesome. And we just killed. We just killed it. We just killed it. I definitely should have went into uh, Iron Hands here, but this should still be fine. I'm just going to pop an EQ. And I'm just gonna go for a certain strike here, but I think our opponent cancels the battle. Yep, they do. Two and one. Belly jump C Titan top tier in regulation. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Two and one with Belly jump C Titan. Did not think I would do this well with it on the rank ladder, but this team just synergizes just so well. You got the C Titan pairing up with support Pokemon like Sinister or Clefairy to help it get set up. And then you can swap into Ninetales, Iron Hands, Urshfu, and just have a bunch of Pokemon supporting it around it, allowing C Titan to do its thing. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.